Hello everyone and welcome back to part 2 of Let's Play The Sims for the Bachelorette Challenge with me, a Little Missima. I know this has been long awaited, it's been like two weeks since I last updated this, um, or uploaded this because of the whole break that I had to have, but I am going to upload a few parts this week just so we can get caught up and everything and we're not like completely behind. So, in this part, um it says that we should do a group date and it says set up a party at a local park club pub gallery gym what you what have you and test your sims compatibility the goal is to try and fish out the sims who are here for love and uh, or other intentions invite all of the contestants now i thought it would be a good idea to maybe throw a party at home um um or we could go out and throw one but setting up a party at another venue i can tell from my black widow challenge is a massive pain in the ass especially when they don't have the venue that you want to go to so i think we'll just throw the party at home it's and we'll invite some board. other sims as well you know just as little <laughs> testers to see if they flirt with Oops. other people and all of that sort of thing but yeah have ethan has come over to talk to you camilla you over here which is adorable keeping it strictly friendly though um Another thing is, um, I quit their jobs um, because I was told that apparently when you have them join back to the career, they start off from where they left, so you don't have to start completely from the beginning, so I'm hoping that is the case so that when we finish the challenge, they can go straight back into their old jobs again. What are you doing in here, guys? Trevor, there's a TV upstairs with sofas. What are you all doing? I mean, they insist, and like they never come up here. This floor is like completely pointless. Like, come and watch this channel, please. And they just all huddle in there. Oh, it looks like uh, Jackson has come up with them. So I think I'll throw the party later tonight. So I think right now we'll just still be settling in a little bit and uh, making some preparations before the party. I'll probably make it a house party or something. Oh, he's right in the middle of the both. Look at him. Get in there, Jackson. He's got it in the bag. He's doing the right thing. The rest of them. He's just, he's a bit of a weirdo. He's just <laughs> sat playing chess on his own. He's tense because he hasn't had any, hasn't brought anything new. You won't be buying anything new for a while, so you better get used to that. Oh, it looks like Bryson's come to join them. What's Austin doing? Austin's playing video games. <laughs> um, someone suggested in the comments that they quite like Jackson for Cassie and Austin for Camilla. That's interesting. You've already got your favourites, it seems. Come on, join the conversation, Bryson. He's just sat there. He's going to go and dance instead. He's going to go and try and show off his dance moves. Oh, he's going all the way downstairs. Maybe not. Oh, well, I'm going to leave him. You know, they're quite, they're quite happy sitting and talking to him. Oh, no, maybe not. They all, they all want to get up now. I don't know where they're going. Um, let's have a look at the relationships. I'll go on Cassie first. It's quite high with Jackson and Ethan and Bryson. Austin is the lowest with Cassie at the moment. With Camilla... Bryson seems to be the highest, and Ethan and Jackson seem to be the lowest, or Austin, I'm not sure. Bit, look, she's not really getting into it as much. <laughs> They've come downstairs to boogie. But she seems to get on with him really well. <laughs> Why don't you come and join? Stop playing. Stop. Stop watching TV. Guys, come and join. Stop playing. Stop in being in the tent. I mean, where's Ethan? What are you doing? No, stop. Come on. Come and have some fun. I swear she never gets out of the bikini. Go. I guess if you've got it, you don't want it. Mm hmm. Are they going to come out and join? I'm not going to make them. I'm going to see if they just do. No? 
<sighs> They're still very shy. Chavender King. These ones. Uh, Vobita. Vanuka Doi. Uh, Tibinahu. But these two are just Vodiana. lapping it up. They're just they're getting on in but there. They are. So maybe we should Three prepare hearts. some food for tonight. So let's not go and play on the computer. We've got these. We've got these out. Maybe someone might come and help us. Hint, hint. Let's make a special re recipe of high protein plate family size. That sounds awesome. I've never done that before. It'd be cool if you could make protein shakes, seeing as you can kind of have a blender. Oh, some more people have come out. Trevor and um, Javier have come out. <laughs> She's just like, I'm a slip to her. Let's have a bit of a conversation. Come on, guys. Right in his day. No, we're not doing none of that romantic stuff. Why can't she talk to me? Talk about handiness. And they get going to party tonight. Have you made them? Nope, they're still making it. What is it? Is it like a bread? Is it like a log? Oh, it's meat. Oh, that makes sense. It's protein. So I'll put that in the fridge so it doesn't go nasty. Um, we could cook something else for the house party. Let's make some taco casserole. Jessine. Trevor, you're so rude. Don't put your back to people, especially the woman you're trying to get your hands on. Yeah, you tell him, Bryce. You tell him. Turn your ass around. Tell Jake about aliens. Talk about cooking. Tell Jake about fashion. Making some food. Oh, he's feeling flirty. So is Ethan. You are so strange, dude. You've been stood here the whole time. Go to the toilet. My phone's ringing. Mm, I guess you can come over. You can be a little decoy. We'll see if anyone tries to flirt with you. So they're instantly going to be in our bad books. Austin and Ethan are just completely <laughs> distracted right now. <laughs> Javier's definitely gone and got in there a bit now. Because he wasn't really in the room before. You're still cooking. She reached level four of the cooking skill. Oh, it looks like someone's come to help us. Thank you, Jackson. Thank you very much. Not like anyone else tried to come and help. Um, let's describe new idea to him and get to know him. Do you ever stop dancing? Like you're hungry? Come on. Do we have a barbecue? It'd be so cool if we could cook some barbecue food. But I don't think we do. I'll have to go. And oh, we do. Let's grill some barbecue food. Let's make some hamburgers. I'd love a hamburger right now. Make some barbecue food. Has she got any ones? No. Not related to the guys anyway. Nope. I guess it's going very well. Very well. What's wrong with Austin? He's pressurized from illness. You're ill? You're not supposed to be eating the food, guys. You greedy pigs. You're not supposed to be eating it. It's for later. If you're ill, come and have some orange juice. No, you're not going to eat the breadsticks. Oh, yeah, you may be feeling flirty. You're not doing much about it, are you? Hmm. It seems. Oh, don't sit out here on your own. Come on, make some more food. And we'll... What? And we'll grill some... Some... Chicken. 
Don't eat these. These are going to the party. You can eat a potato. You do that. You two. This is getting a bit unfair now. Oh my god! You're not supposed to eat that! Bryson's come in to wash up. Thank you, Bryson. She's still cooking outside. She's making some chicken. Ooh, and some corn. Corn on a cob. Jackson's come back outside to dance. Yeah, you eat your potato because you're not eating this. And eat an onion and just, yeah, eat that crap. Right. Oh, are we going to have some conversation time? Maybe they're a bit shy. Let's try and talk to them. Travis come to join as well. Come on, Cassie. Give him a chance. What are you doing, girl? What are you doing? Oh, she's come to sit next to Austin. Mm. Tell a joke about monkeys. Um, get to know him. Um, discuss interests. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's come out of his shell a little bit now. Bryson, what are you doing, dude? Go and eat. I swear you've already eaten. He's like, nah, I'd rather boogie. Oh, Camilla's coming over. She likes him. Oh, he's leaving. How rude. <laughs> She's like, I came to talk to him and he walked away. I'm going to just pretend that I came here to dance and that I didn't get outright rejected. Uh, aww. <laughs> Cute. So I think it's 7pm now. So we could throw the party. So let's go and plan a social event. I'm probably not going to make it um, one that we get scored just because that's not the aim to get the party. The aim is to see how the other sims behave in the party. So I think we should have a a house party or a black and white bash. Or a costume party. That might be fun. I want to do something I haven't done. A weenie roast. No, let's just have a house party. And we will be the hosts. And we will invite all of these guys, of course. Is everyone in the household invited? How many, right, guests? How many have I invited? Let's start this again. Right, guests these guys that's six and we'll invite some women as temptation or even men to be fair but mainly women as temptation why is it saying seven game Oh my god. Can you please? Let's do this again. No, I don't really want men. We're not inviting my ex boyfriend. Hell no. Um, just some random women. Well, that's 15 now. An entertainer, we'll have Cassie Moon. We'll have Alison as our thing, and we'll have Arthur as our caterer. So there we go. And we'll have it at the Jensen residence. Oh, nice dress. Is that anyone else that I If you need to pee, go and pee. All right, well, let's get all the food out. They've all got their fancy clothes on. So, no, we're not cooking. We're getting the food out. We can get the food out of the oven. 
A boo hoo boo. A Frieza. Crin. Chow Tokibo. Sika. And Cassie. Camille has some food as well. She didn't eat it all, I hope. Yeah, we got some food here. And I think that's everything. So yeah, we've got plenty of food for everyone to eat. Um, we have a stereo outside so everyone can go and dance and everyone can go in the pool and everything like that. So what is she... My game has frozen. Right, what's Camilla doing? She's making some drinks for everyone. That's a good idea. Oh, please don't lag. I haven't had lag for so long. She's going to pee. <laughs> I assume that's the musician. All the women are in here with, with Trevor. Trevor, behave. You're in a competition. Do not be tempted. And the mixologist is there as well. So, let's see what happens. Let's observe. Let's see who speaks to who. There's a lady out here dancing. Oh, my game's lagging. Oh, please don't. Everyone's coming out to dance. Well, not everyone, but most of the women. Well, most of the, most of the guests are women, but I've done that to, as a test. So I think <laughs> simultaneously wiggling. Ethan's come out. Someone's jumping in the pool. Right, Camilla, you can stop making drinks now. You're not supposed to be falling in love with a mixologist. Come and join the party, please. Everyone's come out. Is there a bit of a group chat going on? Of course, she's talking to Jackson. That seems to be her favourite person at the moment. Well, come on, man. Talk to people. Come on, talk to Ethan. Thank him for coming, even though he's obliged to come. Tell him a knock-knock joke. Oh. 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 Um, There's a lot of talking going on. Why don't you talk to Trevor? Ta talk about vampires. She wants to cloud gaze with Camilla. No, we're not doing that. Um, discuss latest games. Seems like everyone just wants to party tonight. The relationships are going up. I feel like Camilla still hasn't picked her favourite yet. She's still on even keel with pretty much all of them. Like, she just hasn't found one that she likes <laughs> just yet, but she's um, doing the wave with Ethan in a very strange manner. <laughs> They're very close to each other. Um, heartfelt compliment? Oh, the moves. Talk about cooking. Discuss gourmet dishes. Deep conversation. Uh, <laughs> Trevor, you look <laughs> ill, dude. <laughs> Invite Trevor to dance. <laughs> oh, someone's in the hot tub. Should we make this a hot tub party? Let's get in the hot tub. Right, get in together. Everyone get in the hot tub. <laughs> and then someone come and get in this one. Get in this one together. <laughs> These two just don't want to move. You want to stay there, girl? You can stay there. She's sat next to Javier in the hot tub. And Bryson's in there too with her. Jackson sat by the side of the pool with his little drink. My game is lagging. Oh, they're in there alone. What could happen, guys? Splash him. It's a friendly flirting. She didn't even... She didn't even splash him. What the hell? No, I want to see you do that properly. That was pants. He just splashed her. But she is stunning. Look at her. She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Tell a dramatic story. Ask about day. Cassie, how you getting on? 
Oh, you're getting out, are you? There's so many people here. She's left Bryce and Nina alone. Ethan's come back to join the party. He's getting a bit tired, though. I like how they're keeping it strictly friends. We're like, oh, he's so happy. Oh, cute. She's happy, too. I want a splash. How do we... Ah, splash him. Oh! Oh. I thought they were going to sit next to each other. I want you to splash him. I want to see the interaction. Get to know. Oh, he just splashes at her. Okay. Right, well, it seems that her and Ethan are getting on quite well. Cassie, what are you doing? My game's frozen. She sat in the in the luxury suite with her eggs, her high energy protein plates with a lady and a random dude who's cooking in the bathroom. Why is everyone eating in the bathroom right now? Javier? What are you doing? I hope you're not flirting. No, that unpleasant conversation. Well, damn right. What are you doing in here with these with these women. <laughs> hmm? What are you doing? I hope you're not flirting. I hope you're not flirting. Trevor's in the hot tub. These guys are still talking. Oh my god. He wants to go and get in the... He wants to go and sleep in the tent. Um, I think Javier is just mental, to be honest. I don't even think he knows why he's here, because half the time he's aloof. Um, Ethan is very disinterested, I feel like. I feel like he's... he's. I don't know if that's because he's sick. Um, so I'm going to go and get him to cure himself. Um, I feel like he's trying, but not trying hard enough. Sort of thing. I feel like by now he should have a bit of a better relationship with them. I don't know if that's just me. Then again, he's quite good friends with Cassie, but I'm gonna get him to come and um, because it might just be because he's sick. So we'll have some orange juice. That might make him feel more like talking. Camilla, you left him. You she went to go and sleep in the hot tub in the in the um in the tent if you want to sleep in the tent you can sleep in the damn tent though nothing to do with me <laughs> hopefully the orange juice will make him better he's going to have some orange juice there's just stinky food everywhere and he's merged with a woman in front of the fridge right and go to bed as well and just sleep it off and hopefully um next time he'll feel a bit better no go to bed go to sleep <laughs> dag, dag. and it seems like camilla so just, cassie just doesn't want to stop she's having too much fun uh, so, so. she's having way Get too up. much fun oh god she's sick <laughs> that looks horrible it looks like chicken pox i've never actually had chicken pox in my whole life when i was younger i had um an injection and i never got it as a kid so i keep clicking on the wrong thing you need to have some orange juice as well because you are not very well she has a, she's stuffed up and it says there's a party inside cassie's face with the sole intent of trashing the place oh there's also a party inside your house and i think you've partied too hard and now you don't feel so good oh she's full-on sneezing right well let's check everyone's oh oh jackson he's gone to sleep in the tent with camilla okay then dude okay i don't know how ethan's gonna feel about that seeing as him and camilla have got a bit closer recently um you have got a bit too big for your boots because you should not be sleeping in there this mental case is sniffing himself in the toilet can you please go to sleep in your own bed um you go to sleep here and you go to sleep here Everyone must sleep in their own beds. And you come sleep in your bed. And I guess uh, they're just going to sleep in the tent. I hope all you're doing is sleeping in there. Because that would give him an unfair advantage. Seeing as they are not supposed to be doing that. 
Well, I can't make them do that. I can't do anything if they just do it on their own. Mm. But I think everyone is asleep in the bedroom oh, now. Apart from Mr. Jackson, who thought it was okay to sleep in the tent with <laughs> Camilla. So, guys, I am going to go ahead and end this part here. I hope you enjoyed it. I really did. It was so interesting to see how the, they socialised and which ones they sort of tend to go for and how they dealt with the pressure of having other beautiful women around. It seems like everyone was pretty, you know, not interested apart from Javier, which I think it's just because he's an insane sim he doesn't know what the damn hell he is doing half the time um but yeah so this was a really interesting part and i'm excited to film the next one so i will see you then bye guys